Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Out. This is your host, Frank the Vamp. And uh, yeah, we're continuing our, we're counting down to number one uh, for our, uh, you know, the top 10, uh, I'm ranking the top 10 Halloween movies. And uh, it's no secret. I mean, number two is part two. Um, Halloween, t uh, Halloween 2 was the, uh, you know, very hyped um, sequel from the classic. Um, <clears throat> you know, I never thought about it, but a lot of people don't like this movie um, because they say it's a movie that didn't really need to exist. They love how the, the first one was so stylish. So let's just face it, Halloween, the first Halloween is, is, is one of the best horror films of all time. And a lot of people said, why, you know, it's basically this movie exists because of cash. And, you know, I, I take your point, and there's a lot of truth because of that. But Carpenter put Rick Rosenthal to direct this film, to refuse to direct it himself. He wanted to wrap it up. He wanted this to be the end of Michael Myers. And, uh, spoiler, spoilers, this movie pretty much ends the way it should be. And then Halloween 3 was supposed to continue with the story so I mean this was a was a good wrap up um, you know like I said people who don't like this movie they say hey you know um, like I said it didn't need to exist it's much more gorier it's much much it, it's you know it's it feels it has a different feel from the original that's why some people you know just you know it's more of a slasher film the other one is just, like I said, a masterpiece. Having said that, I love the, I love freaking Halloween too. To me, it's, you know, dare I say, it's a continuation of Halloween 1. It picks right up after it. Uh, you know, you got the original cast. It's very weird to get the same chemistry. But this is not just the same chemistry, you know, with Donald Pleasance and, and Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, this is like... Halloween one on steroids. I love the extra gore. I love the you know more action pack. I love the fact that you know even though yes he has pretty much a simple plot you know him coming after at the hospital and just the brutality you know you know the the blood tears at the end. Uh, Donald Pleasants you know taking his own life and 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 suiciding. You know, to kill Michael, you know, kind of taking him with it. Very gutsy, very what the, the Dr. Loomis character would do. I, I find no, yes, you know, I would admit to one thing. It's not the same. It's, it's, it's a lesser film than the first Halloween, of course. But to me, it feels like it just, it feels like this was, this would have been a, a nice three to four hour film. It's almost like watching Kill Bill and Kill Bill 2 from Quentin Tarantino. Part 1 is so action-packed, but Part 2, a lot of people praise it because it's the time that you you, you took your time and, and you learn about the origins of, of the yellow-haired girl and, and the bride and, 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 and what she had to go through. Um, imagine this would have been reversed. That's, that's what I feel like. Like, this is, you know, this is just the birth of the later Halloween movies, you know, and see some of the brutality, some of the gore, some of the coolness of it. And it, like I said, it just feels naturally connected to me. I understand if it doesn't for you, but you know, that's like I said, I address, yes, the plot has some holes. Um, yes, for sure. But to me, Halloween 2 is a guilty pleasure of mine. I love it. Um, you know, love the head tilt with Michael back at the end. I mean, um, you know, the new actor playing Michael, fantastic. It's it's just, to me, like I said, to me it just feels like a natural continuation. I love it. None of the other films have the same feeling as 1 and 2. Um, it's a guilty pleasure, love it. Take it or leave it. Halloween 2 to me is the, is the top 2. Of course, there's only one left. Watch me review the 
best film of all time for next video. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Take it easy and see you next time.